Hello and welcome to this video in which we're going to look at creating Sudoku puzzles using GPT-4. Our previous video showed how to create a Sudoku using GPT-3 model um, and it caused quite a bit of interest. So here's a video seeing if GPT-4 can create a Sudoku because one of the comments on the previous video um, was from a user who tried to repeat the process we'd gone through and just couldn't create a Sudoku puzzle for love nor money. So we thought we'd take a look in GPT-4 and see how that performs. So here is a chat um, that I will run through that I had uh, earlier, um, just not doing it live because it can be quite slow. Um, and so that makes it a bit less interesting to watch if you're just seeing a blank screen generating text for minutes at a time. But here we are under model GPT-4. So we start off with a simple prompt, which is create an easy Sudoku puzzle. And this is what showed up. So you can see this is an extremely easy puzzle. Um, and in fact, it's not actually a valid puzzle. <laughs> um, because just looking at it here, what can go in this column? Um, well, we need two and six. And yet, as you can see, where do we put the six in the column? Well, the six can't go here because we have a six in a row. So there's no six there. And we can't put the six here because there's a six there. So in fact, there's nowhere that a six can go in the column and it's not a valid puzzle. Um, anyway, soldiering on, um, we then asked to create a harder Sudoku puzzle. Show the grid as a comma separated string of the start digits in the grid. This was just to see the flexibility and also because it's easier to paste it into a solver in that format. Um, and we get this puzzle here. Now what you notice is that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten given digits there. And it's been proven um, by mathematical minds that you need at least 17 given digits to have a Sudoku puzzle with a single solution. Um, so here we say to uh, GPT-4, a nine by nine Sudoku puzzle needs at least 17 given digits to have a single solution. The puzzle you gave only has 10 given digits. Can you give a CSV of the starting digits of a Sudoku puzzle that has a single solution? Okay, so then we have apologies for the oversight and then we have a really, really long string of characters. That's clearly a lot more than 81 <laughs> characters long. I mean, the first row alone has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, at the end of that's like 60 just on one line or something. So it's way, way over 80. So then we ask, how many digits are there in a 9 by 9 Sudoku puzzle? And it tells us, a 9 by 9 Sudoku puzzle consists of 81 cells arranged in a grid with 9 rows and 9 columns. So it seems to know what Sudoku should contain, but it hasn't provided it. So then we say, as a hint, how many digits are there in the CSV string of a Sudoku puzzle that you just provided? So we're referring back to this. The model then says, apologies for the confusion in my previous response. I provided an incorrect string for the Sudoku puzzle. Here is a corrected harder Sudoku puzzle with a single solution represented as a comma separated string of the starting digits in the grid. Um, but despite apparently understanding, you can see we still have a, a string of characters um, when I cut it off. That is way, way longer than the Sudoku puzzle and has only got three given digits. So it's not creating a valid Sudoku puzzle. It's not creating something that looks like a valid Sudoku puzzle. And it hasn't taken hint there that whatever it creates should at least contain 81 cells. Even if it's not a valid Sudoku puzzle, then having 81 um, squares would be a good starting point. So it doesn't seem to understand that correlation between Sudoku and 81 squares, um, despite what it has said. So then we abandon the idea of doing a comma separated string and we say create the start position of a hard 9x9 nine nine Sudoku puzzle that has a single solution. And this time we get a valid puzzle. Um, I checked it through a program to check for single solutions and it is valid. But then I thought, well, that's interesting. Since it had so many failed attempts to create a Sudoku, how has it suddenly managed to create a uh, valid puzzle? So with Google as your friend, if you just type in Sudoku stack overflow and then paste in the string of the Sudoku puzzle from there, just purely copying it and pasting it in, you get this link. And when you come down here, you find this Sudoku puzzle here labeled as the hardest Sudoku with eight, three, six, seven, nine, two, and so on. 
and here it is, 836792. So in fact, that puzzle is one from Stack Overflow. Um, so then if you say this Sudoku puzzle comes from Stack Overflow webpage, it says, yes, you are correct. This puzzle does indeed uh, come from a Stack Overflow post. It's a well-known example of a difficult Sudoku puzzle, and it's commonly used to test the performance of Sudoku solving algorithms. The puzzle is often referred to as the hardest Sudoku puzzle, or the AI Escargo puzzle, AI Snail puzzle, um, for some reason. Um, so then we actually ask the model, OK, because we're trying to find out, can it really create its own Sudoku puzzles, or does it either make a mistake, or does it just take one from its database? So we ask it. And it actually says, as an AI language model, I'm not able to generate Sudoku puzzles on the fly, but I can provide you with puzzles I have learned during my training. However, if you want to generate a new Sudoku puzzle, I would recommend using a Sudoku puzzle generator tool or visiting Sudoku puzzle websites to get fresh puzzles. Um, and then if you ask it how many Sudoku puzzles have you learned during your training, it doesn't give an answer. Um, it says it doesn't store that sort of thing, basically. Um, OK, so we have actually found the answer to the question then. Can GPT-4 create Sudoku puzzles? The answer, according to the model itself, is no. It cannot create Sudoku puzzles. Um, but it can um, show you puzzles that it encountered during its training. Though whether it chooses to do so seems to depend either on luck or maybe it's the exact prompt or it's just randomness. Sometimes you will get a Sudoku puzzle, sometimes you won't. But clearly you shouldn't um, use any Sudoku puzzles it does generate um, because when they are valid, they will come from its training data. Okay, hope you found this video interesting about using GPT-4 to create Sudoku or not, as the case may be. If you have any comments or thoughts or other questions, um, then we'd love to hear from you. So please do um, just post a comment and please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel to find out when we post new content and it also really helps to support us. Thanks for watching and goodbye.